This is a video for the Stella Project. To find out more about the Stella Project, visit www.stelr.org. Now we're looking at Practical Activity 7, What Power Can You Get From a Solar Panel? This is the Stella Solar Panel. It has four cells on it, and the cells are connected up to the terminals down the bottom. And the little diagram in the centre shows you which uh, cell is which. So the top one here is cell number one, so those are the terminals for this one. Cell number two is for this one, cell number three is for this one, cell number four is for that one. If we are connecting the solar cells in series, we'll need a number of wires. Now connecting cells in series is like connecting batteries in series. We connect up the negative terminal of one battery to the positive terminal of the next battery. So here I'll connect a terminal, negative terminal of cell 1 to the positive terminal of cell 2. I'll just use the small yellow leads for this one. Negative terminal of cell 2 to the positive terminal of cell 3, like that. And the negative terminal of cell 3 to the positive terminal of cell 4. Just pause the video and go back over it if that was too quick. Now we want to measure the power that we're getting out of these four solar cells. So we're going to use the stellar test rig over here. And we'll run the motor on this one so that we've got an energy transformation of light into electricity into mechanical energy. We'll also need two metres, one metre to measure the current and one metre to measure the voltage. So first of all, we'll measure the current. So we take a lead, one of the longer ones, and connect it to the positive terminal of cell one. And that comes into this terminal here on, I think it's the right, which has got V, ohm and milliamps on it. So we connect that into there. Then we take another lead and put it into the common, the centre terminal of the multimeter and we'll connect that to one side of the motor over here and then we'll go from the other side of the motor back into the negative terminal of cell number four. So when light falls on the solar cells a current will flow out from the positive terminal of cell number one so it will go through this multimeter to measure current go through the motor and complete the circuit by coming back into um, the negative terminal of cell number four. On the multimeter, get these cables out of the way, turn the dial around to the amp scale onto 200. And hopefully that's showing something at the moment about 0.7. I dropped it. Now we need to measure the voltage that is across the motor. So we'll take a lead and put it into the volt ohm milliamp terminal and the red one will go into one side of the motor, then we connect the black lead into the common and put that onto the other side and this time we'll go around here to the volt scale, turn the dial around and 2 will be a good scale for that. Now you can stand up the solar panel by using the little foot on the bottom Stand it up like that, face it towards the lights, 
turn on the lights like that, get them nice and close in, give the motor a little touch to get it going. And for this one, I think we have about 75 milliamps flowing through it and over here we've got 1.58 volts. When you note down your results in your book, you multiply the milliamps times the volts and the answer you get is the power in milliwatts.